Hi. When you write a story, the first thing you probably think about is who is going to be in your story? Who are the characters? I know that's what I think about. And then you probably think what's going to happen to them. One of the things that we often don't give enough time and attention to, though, is the setting of a story. Where does it take place? And when does it take place? It doesn't matter where and it doesn't matter when. What matters is that you are able to paint that picture for your reader. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you are so familiar with that setting that you can see it in your mind's eye all the time. So what you have to do is you have to create that setting and then you have to put yourself into it and walk around and get to know it like the back of your hand so that if you were a blind person, you could move about flawlessly. Let me see if I can give you an example. In the Seer trilogy, I have Castle Carrick and a lot of things happen in Castle Carrick, but in the second book of the, of the trilogy that I'm writing now, Maeve, my central character, ends up in Castle Carrick and other characters end up there too. And so I have her walking through the castle. Before she could walk through the castle though, I had to walk through the castle. I had to walk through it so that whether I was going in this direction or I was going in this direction or upstairs or down or whatever, I could see that castle. I knew what the walls were like. I knew what it smelled like. I knew what sounds I could hear. I knew if there was a draft going through. I knew if there was a table and what was on it. Didn't matter if you turned me in circles. I knew what I was looking at in every direction. And that's what you have to do when you are creating a setting so that if you have a, a mug of coffee sitting on the table here and you go and you do something else in the room and you come back, that mug is still there. It hasn't turned into a glass of milk or a cup of tea. It hasn't disappeared altogether. It's still there because if you mess up, you can bet your audience, your readers, they're going to pick up on it. And then they're not going to believe you anymore. So you have to make sure that you see that setting perfectly so that you can paint that picture for your readers.